Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. Titan, is an icy world whose surface is completely obscured by a golden hazy atmosphere. Titan is the second largest moon in our solar system. Only Jupiter's moon Ganymede is larger, by just 2%. Titan is 50% larger than Earth's moon and 80% more massive. It is even larger than the planet Mercury, but only 40% as massive. Titan has an environment that is both similar and completely different than Earth, and yet as crazy as it sounds, Titan might be a place that could harbor life. This mammoth moon is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere, and it's the only world besides Earth that has standing bodies of liquid, including rivers, lakes and seas, on its surface. In terms of its composition of the atmosphere, the primary component is nitrogen, with varying amounts of hydrocarbons such as ethane, hydrogen cyanide, and carbon dioxide. It is the sole other place in the solar system known to have an Earth-like cycle of liquids raining from clouds, flowing across its surface, filling lakes and seas, and evaporating back into the sky. Titan is also thought to have a subsurface ocean of water. Titan was discovered by Dutch astronomer Christian Higgins in 1655. The Higgins lander probe sent to Titan aboard NASA's Cassini spacecraft by the European Space Agency is named in his honor. Higgins was the first human-built object to land on Titan's surface. Titan is about 759,000 miles from Saturn, which itself is about 886 million miles from the Sun, or about 9.5 astronomical units. Light from the Sun takes about 80 minutes to reach Titan. Because of the distance, sunlight is about 100 times fainter at Saturn and Titan than at Earth. Titan is 5,149 kilometers in diameter, its diameter is 1.06 times that of the planet Mercury, 1.48 that of the Moon, and 0.40 that of Earth. Titan is the only solar system moon that is known to have a substantial atmosphere. In fact, Titan atmosphere is denser than that of Mars, and at a pressure of 1.6 bar, it is more than 50% denser than our own atmosphere. Titan atmosphere is also much higher than Earth extending to height of roughly 600 kilometers, above the surface compared to 480 kilometers for Earth. Because the atmosphere is so high, Titan was thought to be the largest moon in the solar system for a long time. It wasn't until 1980, that Voyager was close enough to discover it was actually smaller than Ganymede. Titan orbits Saturn once every 15 days 22 hours. Like Earth's moon and many of the satellites of the giant planets, its rotational period is identical to its orbital period. Titan is tidally locked in synchronous rotation with Saturn, and permanently shows one face to the planet. The average surface temperature is minus 179 Celsius. It's so cold that ethane and methane behave like liquids. At the surface of Titan, the atmospheric pressure is about 60% greater than on Earth roughly the same pressure a person would feel swimming about 50 feet below the surface in the ocean on Earth. Gravity on Titan is just 14% of the Earth, so humans could fly just by flapping some strap on wings. Titan is mainly composed of a rocky core, surrounded by layers of water ice. It is likely the core is still hot, with a layer of liquid water and ammonia. Its surface has liquid hydrocarbon lakes and the vents of cryovolcanoes, distributed among areas of dark and bright terrain with few impact craters. Also, tectonic forces, which is movement of the ground due to pressures beneath, appear to exist on Titan. Scientists believe that conditions on Titan are similar to Earth's early years, with the exception that Earth has always been warmer since it is closer to the Sun. The surface area of Titan reaches 83 million square kilometers. This is a bit more than half of the total landmass area of the Earth. There's an ocean of liquid water at a depth of about 100 kilometers below the surface of Titan. Titan Ocean, which sits below a thick ice layer, is believed to have conditions favorable to life, though life would have to exist under extremely harsh conditions. 
The essential chemical building blocks for life are present in the Titan's atmosphere, but Titan's surface is quite inhospitable to life as we know it, because of its extremely low temperature, the absence of liquid water, conditions on Titan could become far more habitable in the far future. 5 billion years from now, as the Sun becomes a red giant, its surface temperature could rise enough for Titan to support liquid water on its surface, making it habitable.